Hello, Petro here, and today I'm at Ripavilla Plantation here in Spring Hill. Uh, this is a amazing uh, uh, mansion here in Spring Hill uh, that has so much history. Uh, um, I'm about to get into a lot, uh, you know, a lot of uh, what I've been filming at the Battle of Franklin. Now, you know, General Hood stayed here uh, the night before. Uh, the Battle of Franklin and the um, uh, Union Army uh, literally snuck past them right over here. You had uh, right here at this place, you had over over 10,000 Confederate soldiers that slept here on that night of November 29th, 1864, while 10,000 Union Army soldiers snuck past them in the middle of the night and made their way to Franklin. And uh, General Hood stayed here that night, uh, uh, had his breakfast and all that. Um, and uh, I made a major mistake and uh, this is the property and my god is it beautiful now you gotta realize like each brick was was laid by a slave this whole house was built by slaves uh, um, and it's magnificent and beautiful but uh, uh, this is built on the backbones of slave work America was literally built uh, by slaves brick by brick pretty crazy okay Thomas was just saying that um, the guy that picks up the trash that Thomas was talking to him and uh, here's the actual trash can for the Ripa Villa plantation and as you see that the trash management still got to come in here and get the trash yeah. and what did you say he says man, he said it like four in the morning he picks the trash up it's still dark and he said man he never do that again because he always feels like somebody's watching him but there's not a car here nobody is still dark and he says it's always aimed like back toward the wooded area where he feels like somebody's watching him because he goes down there and turns around Oh, wow. You know, so all these places that, that I've been going to around here, they say are haunted as, as, as hell. And, you know, I'm not really into that stuff and I don't believe in it. But everybody says these places are haunted, that you'll see a, a ghost of Confederate soldiers walking around. Um, they say if you go to Andrew Jackson's house, that his, his wife's ghost still walks around around the, uh, uh, the Andrew Jackson uh, plantation home and and here too they say this is haunted as hell and uh, you gotta realize this barn right here has been here for you know since uh, uh, the 1800s and when you see that little brick foundation around it you know you can tell you know here's the waste of management trash that Thomas was just talking about but if you look right behind here and you look at this old wall here you have to realize like this was put here by built by slaves you know, what I'm touching right here has been here, you know, since the 1800s. And, uh, you know, look at this old wood. Pretty crazy. This is actually the one of the, the slave houses that the slaves lived in back over here. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I believe that they did raise thoroughbred horses here on this plantation, too. But this would be... Uh, this would be the slave house. Now, if you look, man, look how old this thing is. You know, built with that rock foundation. And then you have the, man, look at that nail in the mortar. Um, I don't know what this would be. Maybe the outhouse, the bathroom or something. Yeah, definitely the outhouse. Oh, wow, look at that. Man, I wonder how many people have actually pooped in this. Got a bird's nest up there. Man, okay, this is creepy. I will tell you, it feels a little creepy right here by the uh, by the outhouse. You know when they say holy sheep shit. Oh man, holy sheep shit. I feel, ooh, yeah, I feel weird. Look at the top of a. Uh, that roof up there. You see how all this is built on these rock foundations. You know, look at this. This was a. Uh... Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Thomas has found an open door. So, uh... Hey, look at this old... Oh, look at that crazy looking thing. Oh, 
<coughs> Looks like a well, maybe where they've watered the the cattle and horses. Yeah, we get an open door to the barn. Might as well make our way. Yeah, it looks, uh, like somebody broke into this one. Yeah. Before. Look, yeah, pulled the screws right out. Yep. I wonder what's living up under there. Definitely something. Wow, we're inside the barn. It is that. Okay, we're inside the barn. There's definitely a bunch of things living. There are holes, holes, holes all in the ground here. But look at this old wall. This is crazy. I guess this was like the old horse stables. Man, this is crazy. I know. <laughs> look at uh, look at this old wood. Look at that. It's really old. Man. Yeah. Inside the Ripa Villa barn. This old tree right here. That is an old tree. Is that open too? Crazy. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely an old tree. Yep. That's an old one. I like how they have all the little benches and seating spots. April's still over there. I don't know if I'm gonna hug you, tree. Oh, that's a big tree, bro. That is a big tree. It is so. It's a, oh I guarantee God. you, it was here. Uh, back in the day. Man, Guaranteed. I was, I was yeah, I know. That is Dang. perfect little sitting spot right there. Yeah. Let's go see this well over here, what this is. Okay, I don't know what the heck this thing is. It looks old, just sitting out here. Maybe it was just kind of like a, man, I don't know what this is. Looks like we got a hole in it. Oh shit. Here's the door. What's the door? Ripper Villa Spring House. Spring House. What the heck is a spring house? It's just a little bitty. Natural spring that's being fed into that? That whale maybe? I don't know. Looks like a good spot for snakes in the uh, in the summer. Look at this big piece of uh, concrete. Thinking maybe it's a trough for the the cattle or the horses. No, it just looks like a big old piece of concrete. What the heck is this? And why? Just out here in the middle of nowhere, man. We just got this big old piece of concrete right here in the middle of nowhere in between these trees now you can tell it's been here for a while because these trees are growing into it these trees have grown around it man look here's these thorns that i keep telling you all about that are all over when you're walking around man i don't know what the heck that is Maybe it's just. You think if it, it's just flipped over, maybe it was like yeah. a water trough? Yeah. Or... Thinking maybe it was a water trough. Yeah. And it's just been flipped over so that way it doesn't contain yeah, people. Oh, that's exactly what it is. It was a water trough. And they flipped it over because it's not used anymore. Yeah. And they didn't want it sitting there holding stagnant water. Man, that's crazy. But this does look cool over here, these woods. Oh, yeah, that's on the Let's check this out. Bet you nobody really ever walks over in these woods, but there's deer tracks all on the ground around here. 
So the deer definitely come walking through here. You can tell they've had something planted in this field here pretty recently. And uh, maybe the deer are coming over here and uh, getting themselves something to eat. But here we are, way over here on the back acres of the Ripa Villa. Uh, my wife's about to be here with her sister. I see a buzzard flying over there. And but look how beautiful that property is. But we're gonna go check out these woods back here and see what the heck this is. Now you gotta realize this was a, uh, they fought here in Spring in Spring Hill too, in, in, in the Civil War. Uh, major battles happened here too. And uh, got a little bit of water here on the ground. Maybe a little trail. Let's see what's back here. Look at this stuff. Oh wow, it's a pond. Oh wow. Okay, people, I will tell you this. Um, it is getting a little bit warmer here. And this would be a uh, prime location for snakes. Um, I was just looking up snake boots and I'm gonna get some snake boots here soon to walk around here. But look at this people. I know this other, just look at this new spot we just found. This looks like, like a swamp, like out of like Louisiana or something. Look at this. Pretty sick. This is awesome. I didn't even know this is behind here. That Ripa Villa. Man, I love Tennessee. There's just so much cool stuff. What green thing? Uh, just like a piece of paper. A frisbee. A thick piece of plastic. Oh wow, look at this. It's old bob wire. Man, I wonder how old that is. I know. Look, is there a small piece? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. You're coming home with me. <laughs> I'm adding that to, to that barrel. Man, finding all kinds of cool little artifacts and stuff. I don't know how old it is, but it's sitting here at Ripa Villa. It must have been part of a fence that was around there and they just threw it in the water and now the water is low. And uh, man, this is pretty cool. Well, there's any fish in here, probably like a big old 10 pound largemouth bass in there. I know, definitely snakes. Like there's some type of something over there. Maybe that was like a, a little pier thing. We'll go over and check that out. Now, I don't know any of the history of this little pond here, if it's been here for a long time, uh, uh, what it actually is, uh, but it's creepy. And um, I'm telling you, in the summertime, uh, this place is probably full of copperheads because uh, they're the same color as these, as these leaves here. And you would not be able to see them if you were walking around. And uh, um, they're all over the place here in Tennessee. But uh, what a cool spot. Uh, definitely feels creepy. You know, we're out here way behind Ripa Villa Plantation just exploring. And uh, I see another little thing over here. And I think I'm going to come over here and check this out. You see the ground, it's wet over here. So I imagine when it rains, this little pond probably gets pretty full. Now you have to imagine that they've metal detected and have excavated, you know, stuff. I mean, hopefully they have, but there's this weird thing right over here find a good entrance spot. I see those thorns everywhere. Uh, right here. Here we go. Okay. Oh, 
I guess this used to be like a, uh, where you could walk down there or something. I don't know. Let's see. It's something. There's definitely a trail. You know, you see the trail here going all the way around. I don't know how far I actually want to go. Uh, probably not far. Let's go down. Exit through the gift shop. And we're out. Look at all the deer tracks. Uh, deer tracks all over. Came right through here. See that? Now I'm taking this probably like a spring underground, but you can see all the animals, all the animal tracks come to this little watering hole. You can see the water's coming out of that hole right there, keeping uh, keeping the animals hydrated. Fox yeah, Thomas is saying we got a fox den right here. That's what that is. Yep. Yeah, that's probably this is where some foxes live yeah. out here in this. Uh, they'll come out me. Yeah. yeah. yeah these are fox. Yeah, it's fox tracks and deer tracks. Fox lives in there. Pretty cool. Okay, check this out. I don't know what kind of skull it is yet, but it's a uh, skull of some sort. Maybe a, uh, I don't know what that would be. What do you think, Thomas? That is a possum, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. That's yeah. a possum. Possum head. Now that's probably uh, not too old, but look how perfectly clean. Uh, intact all that is. You can see the teeth. Oh man, that is so cool. Yeah, you might have to keep that, Thomas. Put in some bleach in a yeah, jar. Crazy. And whiten that up. Can you open its mouth? Roar. We gotta name him. Oh wow. Peter the Possum. Man, this is crazy, bro. Hello, Peter the Possum. <laughs> Peter Puffer. This is crazy. Peter Puffer Possum. <laughs> I'm way back here at the back acreage of the plantation. And um right across the street. Now this road right here in front was the same road that uh used to be here. You know, 200 years ago, it was just dirt. And they've just paved it and we drive on it now. But if you look right across the street, and I'll turn the camera around, is the huge GM plant. And I'm talking, this place is like three miles. And that's where they're making all the new electric cars. And they gave a lot of money to make sure that Ripa Villa stays just as beautiful as it is right now. So you can thank GM right across the street for uh, donating to, uh, to that? Rip a Villa. See that down in the woods? What yeah. is that? I don't know. It's like a big... I think we're gonna have to go check it out. Structure. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Okay, I'm walking on the ground here, and uh, uh, you know, Thomas just said that, you know, you can tell this ground's really been worked uh, uh, for a long time. I'm telling you, this is soft soil. That's why you're seeing all the fox holes from the foxes here. And uh, you can tell this is really fertile ground that we're walking on. It's like super soft soil. It's really cool. Back here, in the very back. Can't even see the, uh, the plantation anymore. But I'm thinking this is what was kind of busted over there on the other, on the other uh, uh, little, I guess that was like a, a lookout over the, the pond. But here's another section over here where the water comes out. And uh, you can actually stand on this thing way back here. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that old tire rim. Man, I'm telling you, 
No tellings what's out here if we just looked. Like for real. We got the metal detectors and there's no telling what's out here. Look at all this old chopped up wood. Exploring behind the plantation. Pretty fun. Now these woods go back pretty far. You can see all this chopped up wood here. There's a trail going through. Let's see what we can find back here behind the plantation. Looks like some of that is burned. Yeah, that's black. It doesn't look burned, but it's black. Looks like we got some big timbers back here. There was a, uh, a gate or something right here. Oh wow, there's benches out here in the middle of nowhere. What in the heck what are they doing out here? Okay, no telling what goes on out here. Like for real. <laughs> okay, here we got the sacred ceremony. Oh wow, dude, there's like a crazy bridge over here. What? Look at this. See, there's the seating arrangement, but look at this bridge. Whoa, look at that. What? Man, that's sturdy as hell. Okay, I'm up on it. Okay. This is pretty, uh, the trees have grown up all over it, but right over the spring here and, uh, Let's get out amongst it. Dang, going through the trees, ow, shoot. Okay, shit, I hope it doesn't break on me. But here I am, on the middle of it. Look at this, crazy, behind the Ripa Villa. Didn't know this was behind Ripa Villa, but look how mossy and cool. Awesome. You know, you kind of got to balance yourself, but uh, not bad, pretty fun. Bet you I can uh, just step off right here and go under the rope. And you can see a little stream. Come back this way, see what's over here. There's something. See, I don't know what the heck they're doing out here. But look at all this stuff another like stand you see this hear ye hear ye and another crazy bridge look at this one whoa how cool yeah whoa suspension bridge whoa crazy this is so cool I had no idea this was out here. They should do paintball out here. Man. That's so fun. Okay, probably it's like a seven up bottle. You know the Heineken? Is it Heineken? Yeah, yeah, it's a Heine. What? Hey Heine. Hey you can see that Thomas is gonna take his chances on the uh, on the bridge here. I walked all the way out in the middle. I got stabbed with a stick. You can see how it's all rigged up. Yeah, if you start here and cracking. But I think it's pretty dang sturdy. Because of all the stuff thrown up. But that's completely held up by suspension. You see that? I don't know what the heck this is. I've never seen anybody post any videos from Ripa Villa uh, uh, back here. But uh, 
this is pretty cool and uh nobody's out here we just kind of walked right out here and man uh i've never seen anybody show this part of ripavilla of the plantation all the way back here i'm thinking maybe this was like a campsite and all all these trees were, were cleared out all these small ones weren't here before and they had this all cleared out uh because this is like a perfect place to camp um might be some crawl deads in that stream down there i'll go looking for some crawl deads thomas is out there do what oh yeah here i'm gonna go check those out i'm just gonna jump over uh can i make that yeah i can make that Where's those bricks in the water there? Yeah, yeah, those are bricks. You know, I saw this other guy on YouTube and he found so much stuff by walking in the rivers. Let's check out these old bricks. Wow, I wonder if that's from the house, from something. I wonder why they're out here in the river. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what's in this river. I mean, this stream, not a river. There's another brick. There's bricks all up the, uh, the stream here. I wonder if they've just been washed down this way. Yeah, yeah, I walked across that one too. I see something blue fishing pole, a broken fishing pole. Oh, what the hell is that? Yeah. There's an old broken bottle. $15.89. No way. Does it say $18.89? No, it says $15. 1569 or 3569. Check this out. Oh shit. That wasn't a good throw. I think I'm just gonna kind of walk down here. Kind of disturbed it a little bit. Let's get over here where I have it and see what's. Thomas gonna come across. I wanna see what's uh, what's up on the other side of the hill here. Here we come up over the top. Looks like right into the uh, into the fields. Yep, right in the back side of the fields. Okay, you don't really get this view when you see Ripavilla videos on YouTube. It's way back here on the back side of where, uh, you know, this would all have been the farmland. And this is where the, uh, the slaves would have worked the land. And you can see it's a ton of land. Not just this side, but other side of these woods and this pond, all that land over there too. And, uh, Man, there's so much to explore back here. Um, off in these woods, no telling what we're gonna find. Haven't even really looked at the house yet, but my wife's about to be here, so I'm gonna go up to the house and, uh, and meet her now. Look at this majestic tree. My word, look how big it is. What in the heck 
big part of it's fallen off. But look at this. Okay, guaranteed this tree was here back during the Civil War. Guaranteed. Still there. You see a big branch broke off over there. Now one's broke off on this side, but it's still going. My God, that tree, that tree is huge, really big. Okay, typical of Tennessee, any of these historical places I go to, you're going to see some Tennessee buzzards. Look at these fools up there, just chillaxing on top of the, uh, on top of the, um, the chimney there at Ripa Villa. Okay, we're all here, and uh, this was the Ripa Villa Mansion, as it is a huge, big place here behind me. And um, there's a plaque right here, but, you know, it says Ripa Villa. But that's the Ripa Villa Plantation. It's quite beautiful. Um, all the architecture from back in the day is really amazing. But uh, I don't really want to buy a ticket, so I'm just going to bounce. And uh, I love the magnolia trees. See that huge magnolia tree? Um, just love those at these at these old plantations. But uh, there's plenty of plenty of videos of what it what Ripa Villa is. But I don't think there's any of uh, what we just did. So she got another spot that we're gonna head to, and uh, it's right up the street from here. And uh, it's former 11th president of the United States of America, James Polk. It's his childhood home. And they have a plaque out there, but the house is abandoned. Uh, I don't know if it was his house, but there's an abandoned house there. We're gonna go check it out. Now I'm on the side of the road. But you see how the sign says here, this is James Polk, the 11th president of the United States of America. This was his childhood home uh, right behind me. And uh, it's fairly abandoned and nobody's out there. You got a bunch of old barns and stuff. But you see the sign here, uh, uh, this is where James Polk, uh, 11th President of the United States of America, this is where he roamed around as, as a young boy. Uh, little did he know, or maybe he did know, that one day he would become President of the United States of America. But all the way back to 1801, this is when uh, the Polks landed here in... Uh, we're right outside of Columbia, Tennessee. Well, I'm gonna take a walk up to this old house over here. Um, I guess this probably was James Polk's childhood home. This was his, where he ran around and played as a kid. And uh, you know, this spot here is not easy to find and look up online either you know i drove by it the one day and that's when i noticed it but yeah it looks abandoned it looks old this is probably uh this is probably james polk's home when he was a child wow Look at this. What? FedEx, we missed you. Wow. Um, this is pretty wild. I guess uh, this was Polk's first home as a child right here. 11th president of the United States of America, James Polk. Um, looks like not much is done to preserve this place. And it looks pretty damn run down. Uh, maybe the 90s or something. It looks open. Um, I don't want to go in it though. Somebody could be living here, all I know. But, oh, I see a vulture over there on the ground running. There he goes. 
See him? There he is. Let's see what he does. I'll walk up on him. There he goes. Up on, up on there. He's eating something over here. Now that may have been the slave quarters house right there behind the the main house here. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder how much this property is. If you wanted, if you wanted to buy this property, um, like how much does it cost? I think I saw a guy standing over here on the property next door. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy metal detecting over here. Yeah, let's see what he's doing. Man, see, this is what I'm into. Looking around, look at the old cellar here. Let's see what gentleman's doing. You got a doggy? Is he friendly? Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. How's it going, sir? Man, you're doing. I'm just making a YouTube video. You're doing it. You're doing what I. My name's John, by the way. You're doing exactly what I love to do. You're metal detecting. I'm making a YouTube video here. Come here, Steve. Now, do you own the property here? No. No. Uh, you got permission to metal detect yeah. here. You found anything? Yeah, I've dug all this out right here. And? This is where. Uh, Polk. Samuel Polk lived at. This James is, K. Polk. Now, is Daddy. this the actual house? No. No. This is the, just the land. This was his land. The house sat right here, and it burnt. It burned. Yeah, James K. Polk was 10 years old. He was 10 years old. When 11th president, it. United States of America. Uh, that's what I'm filming about, about presidents right now and James Polk. And what you're doing here is something I've been looking to get into, especially around the whole Civil oh, War man, battlegrounds. I've been doing it for 40 years. You got a YouTube channel? Huh? You got a YouTube? You don't no. post it online, no? Oh, well, great. Well, what kind of stuff have you found in 40 years? Oh, you, you've hunted? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we've just been all over Franklin and, and all that. What, how long have you been hunting? Not long. Not long. Not, not 40 years. No, I found a lot of coins in here. I found pieces of eight. Wow. Spanish reels. Wow. It's like 1812 stuff in here. Wow. And this is where you've been digging here? We dug that out. Yeah, you dug that out? We dug all the way down. We got all the pottery out of it. What? Plates. And what are you doing That's with crazy. it? I've still got it. Still got what it. What would you say is your number one best thing you've ever found? Ever. I've had so many of them. Had so many of them. Man, that's so good to hear. Well. A sword? A Confederate yeah. sword? A general sword or a cannonball? Oh, I've dug over 200 belt buckles. Over 200 belt buckles? Man, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Well, uh, um, I have to say, that's amazing. I see you got your shovel over here. Were you digging right over here recently? Yeah, Man, uh, I just want to check that out and see kind of kind of how you do your job. Um, I find it so interesting. And uh, you can see now he was saying that the house burnt down and probably where he was, uh, uh, this was probably the kitchen. And he's dug up the plates. He's dug up everything from, from the Polk house. The, uh, the, uh... Oh, what the house sits on the uh, the, ba the foundation rock. Uh huh. I got all them. They big hand cut rocks. Wow. wow. Like chimney, you know where uh -huh. they cut hand cut. They were huge. Matter of fact, I picked up some this morning that we dug out. Wow. So how long you've been digging at but this spot? That's the size of the house was right. I mean, this is the, the size of the house. So how long you've been digging in this area? How much digging? Yeah, like I, I'm for it all up. Like you've been doing coming here for like a month, two months. All over this place you like got this. pits all over. Man, that is so cool to hear. We've dug over 300 buttons in here. Wow. 18, 12. Buttons. So this is all on you. You you funded all yourself coming out here on your own time. You don't work for somebody. I just dig it up. What do I do? I dig it up, and then. Well, when I throw a little bit out, I run my detector over it each time. And then when I'm filling it back, I run it over. Huh. To make sure you didn't miss something. If you, I mean, a little piece of eight a Spanish piece of cut piece is just small as everything. Wow. That's crazy. Man. Uh, I mean, it's a lot, of, a lot of iron in here. 
A lot of iron. A lot. That's what they used before steel. They were That's, using that iron. It's hard to pick through iron. Is it? It's hard to pick through the metal detector to tell the difference. What we do, we bring a five gallon bucket with us. Just dump it in there. Put all the iron in the bucket, bring it out. Bring it out so that way you can go back in. The less iron out. you got, the better chance of finding something that's good. You ever find any flint -locks? Now don't get me wrong, iron stuff is good too. I dug, uh, I got about 20 forks out here, two prong, bone handle. Wow. Still good shape. I took and cleaned the forks up and then took and sanded the bone and, and put urethane over it. Man, I imagine your house is like a museum. <laughs> it's in a safe. It's in a safe. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Pass that See, down to the next generation. And I had the stuff in the house. My wife called it junk. I sold it, built me a two car garage. Damn. There's your junk. $15,000 worth. Wow. And I started, I said, I'm going to build me a two car garage. I mean, build me a two car garage and put me a safe in it. That's what I did. Good for you, sir. And I got a dead gum, a huge safe. It's full. America. Gotta love America. You find any flintlock pistols? Huh? Find any flintlock pistols? Any flintlock pistols? You ever find any? Any what? Flintlock pistols. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I did find a musket out of here, part of a musket. All right. It was a early musket, too, because it was brass. It had the fancy carbon in it. Oh, wow. That's nice. And I've got the barrel of it. It's about that long. I ain't got the breach out of it. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, you're my hero, man. You're my hero. <laughs> okay, see, here's a little piece of china. That's kind of china that's in here. Wow. Oh, wow. So that's actually from from the Polk. the Polk home. This is from the Polk home. Right there. Just It was sitting on the ground. Oh, here's another piece. Wow. Look at that. What? Man, I could make a mosaic out of this. Yeah, put it with you. are crazy. Look. This is insane, sir. Bone buttons in here. <laughs> You ever seen bone buttons? No. Made out of bone and they would bore it with a drill. Just finger drill it and the holes would be off, the five holes. Oh, wow. But you have to eyeball them. Look, I'm just amazed. We found artifacts. <laughs> Look, just like that. Look, he's been doing it for so long that he probably, he's just got the eye for it. He's got the he can just. He's got that eagle eye. See, look at that. He's just finding them left and right. That's a bit of a thicker piece there. I haven't found a trash pit here yet. What? <laughs> this is so inspiring to me. I am so inspired. Look, Donne. Donne. These are actually pieces of the, uh, the plates from the Polk home that we're just finding here on the ground. He's saying the Polk home burned down and um, it was the kitchen was right here where we're standing. And look, here's more, look at all this. Put that in a mosaic. No telling how old, That's I could cool. find all these pieces out here and make a mosaic. Together. Well, I wanted to show you something I, I found. Okay. The house. No, no, I wasn't gonna go in. No, you there shouldn't. ain't no problem going in, there ain't nobody. I'm glad now, cause I'm sure there's probably snakes out here in the summer. A lot of snakes in the summer. Oh, they're not out yet. They're not out. That's why I'm walking around now. <laughs> I don't even know where the snakes are out. <laughs> yeah, get some snake boots. John, look at this. That had something on it. Look, like yeah. a picture. Oh wow. Yeah. Yep. What? Okay, I'm just blown away. I'm blown away at this. Here at the at the James Polk, we're finding actual <laughs> artifacts from 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 the dishes and stuff, and. Uh, you know, he said that this smoke, this is, was a smokehouse. And he says this is the original smokehouse from the Polks because of the old timber. So you can tell from the old timber that's down here on top of the, on top of the uh, foundation here. So this actually is from uh, Samuel Polk, uh, uh, James Polk's dad's. Uh, from, this is from when they lived here and probably the barn over there too. Here's a little piece, John. So I gotta tell you. Man, this is cool as heck. Um, so April and I were just gonna sit in the truck, and I looked up at the house and I saw that porch. I said, no, April, let's go look. I said, it seems like it's cool. So she's like, okay. So we get out of the car, and I filmed this so you can have it, but uh, we get out of the car, 
And, you know, I walked up and I was saying, you know, look how old this is, it looks like cool or whatever. And I see the paint peeling off and I could see like layers of different colors that uh -huh. have been peeling off. So I was like knocking it off with my hand. I realized this letter is painted. So I started knocking it off. I got a stick and I scraped off as much as I could. And I don't know what it is, but, but I filmed it so you can see it coming <coughs> off. There's a star. Looks like maybe a flag. Uh, but you can see it right here. But it was all white when I walked up and I uncovered it. <laughs> oh, you went up on the porch? Not Look on how the daring porch. you were. No, not on the porch. Right here. I mean, I walked straight here from Oh, there. I see. But that was all you see the writing on it. What? Underneath, yeah. Up, it was all covered like this, huh. and I did that. What? But I don't know what it said. Something. But we could get more of it off. I'm just, some of it's all coming off, you see. Like I-N-V-E. And. And there's a star. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. I have artifacts from almost 200 years ago from the actual Polks. You don't know, but maybe James Polk as a child ate off of these dishes that are in my hand. That's crazy to even think about. I'm sitting here with my, uh, my little sister, April, and uh, here on the uh, James Polk grounds where he grew up as a child uh they moved here when he was 10 years old um his dad uh built the house the house was burned down and this was the house that was built after that one burned down and it's abandoned now uh, and owned by some big big shot uh developer and uh you probably couldn't buy this property uh they want to actually destroy it and put like a subdivision which would actually be horrible but it was so cool to find the older gentleman over there metal detecting um uh, he said that nobody minds. He, he knows the guy that lives over there uh, across uh, uh, the way. And uh, um, as you can see, we were finding artifacts directly on the ground. And that's how you know that, that uh, there's artifacts out here. There's lots of history still in the ground here in Tennessee that you can go out and find. And uh, here's some right there. They're pretty amazing. What do you think about all that, April? It's neat. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. Underneath this huge magnolia tree. We passed by here hundreds of times. I've and and never thought, always, I've always wondered. always wondered about this house. Well, um, you can see. Now we're here. Uh, the only person out here was a guy metal detecting doing what I want to do. And he'd been doing it for 40 years and has found uh, all kinds of stuff. Doesn't want to mention what he's found, but uh, he's got stuff cool enough that it's in a safe at his house. This was pretty awesome. Okay, the wife is being adventurous, and Donna says, "Let's go in." Yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's go in. Mom, I'm home. Okay, this is a uh, look. And right when we walk in, Whoa. it says Jesus. Oh, oh vinyls. Man, I had one of these of my grandparents. Look at that, Jesus. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Man, it smells old. <laughs> Wow. And uh, this is definitely a fixer upper. Not bad. You see the enclosed patio? Enclosed in glass. Wow. Hey, Don A. Look at this old fireplace. Now those bricks look pretty old, and even though this place did burn down, they might have used the uh, the foundation of, of this fireplace to rebuild around. So this fireplace might have been here when uh, when the Polks uh, lived here. There's another fireplace. See, I'm saying they probably built this house around this fireplace. And, uh, man, that back patio is completely glassed in. Check this toilet out. What? Man, you got a lowrider, that one. What? A lowrider toilet. Can't we just move in? Can't we Can just move, move in? Dude, this is where those, uh, uh, those, those, those... Just move in and do a squatter a pedestal, thing. A pedestal, uh, uh, yeah, a Yeah, yeah, with the, the, the leg yeah. bathtubs. I know, it's all in glass. That's enclosed. 
Rose patio. Wow. That patio is awesome. This is great. Well, okay, we're moving in, guys. Moving out of the new house and moving into this old house. Man, look at this cool old window and how big that is. And you slide that up, you can literally just walk outside onto the patio. What kind of records do we got? We got some country. Man, this one's still wrapped up. That one hasn't even been opened. What does it say? The romantic strings of Andre something. Man, that one's not even open. There we go. Bobby Sherman, get you some. 50 great musical treasures. Man, that one's thick. Jesus Christ Superstar. What? Jesus Christ Superstar. There you go. Look, the full oh, album. That's crazy. Look, they get the. Uh... Faith of... Look, that's not even open. Tennessee Ernie Ford. Faith of our father, Tennessee Ernie Ford. That's crazy. May Jesus Christ be praised. Wow. What's what they got playing? Nothing. Nothing playing right now. Look at this beautiful rose on that light fixture. Yeah, so this was heated and AC. Man, it really sucks that this is abandoned. And nobody lives here. The guy said that a really rich developer owns this land now, and he won't sell it. They're going to knock all this down and put oh, something here. No. Like a housing development, which I find completely horrible. Yes. Look, there's even beds, guys. So we just plop them down. This is so pretty. We just come here and hang out every day. Look at you, Pearl. Let me see. You got them in your ears. Buttercup. Uh-oh. What's in? Should I open it? Oh, anything? There's two of them. Oh, it smells awful. Look, here's another one. Look at this. Would you like some corn? I can make corn cups. Damn, you want some sweet corn? We got beef stew. We got some homestyle chicken. We got some beans. We got pork and beans. Damn, there's the baked beans right there. What do we got in here? What are we having for dinner, April? Dang, it's nice. Yeah, that's like, it reminds me of my grandmother's. Yeah. Hey, April, this is, those old, you shake your this is those old chairs you find coins in. Oh, yeah. Oh, good idea, Thomas. Man, you smart. Dump it out and see if there's some old coins wow. in there. Look at the beautiful rose plate. Dun, 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 dun. That's, what does it say on the back? Nothing. Nothing. Didn't that one, April? Uh-oh, what is that? It's a bird nest. See, there's still plates in here. This is wild. Uh-oh, here. Hello? Hello? This is cool. Okay, we're gonna call it a, we're gonna call that a mission here. And uh, really beautiful architecture in this house. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Oh, you just found a button. What? Oh my God. See the gold on the back. Wow. Man, he just found that button. Look at that. Wow. Man. That's 1812 stuff. 1812. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Man. It's just stuff we missed. I mean, there's so many nails in there. Just something that small. That's crazy. Wow. That is amazing. But that's what they call a. See, so they call that a flower button. He just found that button. He said it's around 1812. Look, Donnie, check this out. That gold gilt on the back of it. You just found that here, 1812. Wow. Most of them, most of them were gold. Yeah. Gold gilted and over time they just they go. They turn, gold. yeah. Turn that greenish color. Damn. Well, I'm Petro, and that was uh, the James Polk uh, uh, childhood home and property. You see, stuff is still uh, being found. Uh, um, he just found another one, uh, a little button. Oh, wow. He's saying these bricks over here came out of the original house. So these are bricks from the actual original house here that burned down. So these bricks 
are, they moved here uh, early 1800s. These are over 200 years old. This brick in my hand is over 200 years old. Uh, this pile of bricks right here, just sitting here, is part of one of our US president's childhood home is what I'm holding in my hand. That is pretty wild and crazy and actually amazing. This dog over here is funny. He's having a good time digging through uh, through this. Look at this dog. He's having a great time. And dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. He's got his whole head in the ground. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Okay, over here, this guy he said his buddy was digging. You see, the dog likes to dig too. You gonna find that fox? You gonna find that fox in there? And they were digging these holes over here and they dug up Homemade all these. Dead. All these homemade bricks here Look at that. underneath homemade. this hole. Wow. That's Look at that. Sure. So how old do you think that is? That's, that's going to be right at 1800, i Right at 1800. So that's over 200 years old that I have in my hand. It's a handmade bricks I found in this hole here. A pretty deep hole. But uh, you see some of this different color kind of limestone it's looking. Rock. Well, I guess they were using this for foundation. Yeah. Probably. He said well, some of these bricks. Chip, he said some of these bricks had scorch marks. Like oh wow! Burning. Yeah. From the actual, from it burning down. Wow. Okay, you can see the buttercups. How this used to be like a walkway here, and he says wherever you see these buttercups and they're they're growing like this, that there's something under the ground right there, and that's from a man who has hunted the ground for over 40 years. And um, man, you can see this place is amazing. All kinds of artifacts uh, uh, here. I will be back here a bunch uh, with the metal detector. Um, and I'm gonna find my own stuff. You see, he found that button just as we were here. And uh, there's pieces of the plates and everything all over the place. Uh, this is US history untouched right now right here right outside of columbia i'm petro this was an awesome day i'm out